Hey, hello everybody, this is Arnold Rauers. Um, today I wanted to show you a really cool video that I got uh, sent to by one of our very best card crawl adventure players, Jacqueline Heat. Uh, if you have been paying attention to any high scores in the game, uh, maybe the weekly or uh, basically any high score for any character, Jacqueline is like one of the very, very top players of card crawl adventure and uh, she has been playing the game with us and the community for quite some time. She's been an amazing source for exploits, for bugs. She found multiple uh, high scoring exploits with the gold cards and she was kind enough to actually record a full weekly playthrough uh, of her run with the Blood Cultist. And uh, she uh, did an amazing run. Unfortunately, she lost the run in the end, but in general, she really uh, showed how to play the game and uh, definitely uh, showed us a few insights, few tricks, uh, the thought process behind her playstyle. I think she has a very defensive and very board control uh, playstyle. <clears throat> That's why the video is kind of long actually to look at. But um, yeah, again, if you're interested in how one of the very top players actually in the world is playing Card Cool Adventure and getting these super high scores where you like really marvel at how did she uh, do this, um, yeah, this is definitely a video for you. So without further ado, uh, I sh give you the uh, Card Crawl weekly run, all five taverns with the Blood Cultist. And uh, shout out again to Jacqueline Heat for recording this video and uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. So what do we have this week? Obviously the first one is going to be uh, horny. Tuesday is the blob. Um, select a bonfire. Everybody else gets more life. And select at least five in one turn three times. So that's not that's not bad at all. Wednesday we have the Goblin Queen, a random monster gets frozen or obstacle, uh, defeat 10 or more throughout the tavern, that's no big except that it means you're going to have more life. Then we got cards with freeze damage or cold damage, have one more strength. And uh, the pastor, select two bonfires, not an issue as long as I remember to do it. Goblin queen, who was the boss up here? The blob, that's right, okay. And then, random monster gets healed at the end of the turn. Uh, select at least one bonfire. So none of the quests are like earth shattering and uh, none of the house rules are earth shattering. Uh, this will be my first time up against the new cold countess, which I'm excited about. Uh, I expect that she's going to be a really strong boss, uh, but with this particular character, She's going to freeze cards, and if I select frozen cards, I get two damage. But as long as I make sure the apple and, even better, the chalice are on the board, um, and I get her to freeze those before I ever select them, then I'll be immediately taking two damage and getting healed for it, and which means my forbidden fruit is going to damage her or whoever else is on the board. So, not really worried about getting anything specific. I'm just going to go with my standard uh, strategy, which is usually mainly board control, because then I have the most control over getting the treasure. I don't have a name in here. I also have to remember to do the quest here, because I notoriously forget. Alright, it's the key. No big deal. I want to get rid of Endure guys, especially this guy. 
um, revenge guy, I'd like to keep around in case there's something I want him to shock. And I want to discard this guy because I want more enemies in this deck. The first deck is so small, uh, there's not a lot of leeway. You can't take too many turns to set up the treasure. So if you get these guys to pump more enemies into the deck and bulk up the deck, you get more space to work with, more turns. Uh, so... How am I going to start this out? I think I am going to... I would like to do more damage to this guy, because I want to make sure he gets killed next time he comes up. Oh yeah, I didn't go over the mushrooms. I saw this earlier, uh, but uh, all enemies have three more health than usual. <laughs> um, okay. This only does three damage to one person. So I do want to make that count. Who's this going to hit? That guy? No, thanks. Let's go here and discard this guy while he's free to select. Nice. If I get blood gold, that guy's going to be useful. Ooh, another guy. Okay. Most excellent. Two cards left in this shuffle, but not for long, because this guy's going to add some. He's going to add two more. Uh, so I want a nice even number. I want all the cards to get dealt to make sure the second half of the key gets dealt. Let's move this guy. Revenge Freezer is great. Uh, I never noticed this. I guess if more monsters get dealt into the deck, they don't benefit from the mushrooms. So these guys all only have two, uh, which that's something to keep in mind, especially for later taverns where I need to kill more things for both the quests and to summon the boss. If I can summon weaker guys that are easier to kill, uh, then I don't have to worry about having as much damage available. Um, I don't want to kill him. I want to use him later. Uh, so, let's scoot these guys. There's the key. Now, I don't want to open the chest and get the treasure until I talk to the merchant. Because if the merchant has something that can help me get more gold out of the treasure, I want to know that before I choose the treasure. Because it might change which treasure I want. Let's take this. So now we got to get the merchant dealt. This guy's got a whole bunch of health. I would like to see some weapons come up that I can smack. Well, I don't want to smack him yet. I want to see what's going to happen with the merchant first. So that's okay. I do want to discard this guy. Guy's not especially helpful, but it's not especially harmful either. Here's this butthole. He's back again. Okay. I don't 
do want this guy dead. I might just run through the key, end up discarding it um, to make sure he dies. And also discard this guy while I'm at it. Maybe not, because I'll discard him next turn. Next turn I can pick up the apple, take a bunch of damage from things as I move about the board, and then get it all back from Chalice, and be back at max. <laughs> Here's our enduring friend. Ah, and you're gonna curse him for me, okay. Let's just grab apple. Oh, ha! Nice! He's dead. Okay. You know what? Yeah, maybe I'll go. Let's get that. Get that. I don't know. That. 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 It's gonna kill him for me. And, uh. Yeah, let's go here. And I'm back at max health, and I've completed the quests. Wait a minute. Six cards. Yeah, that's okay. This is gonna put us over into the next shuffle, but the merchant will be on the board by the time I, I even have a chance to open the treasure again. Oh no, wait, look! We're going to make it back up to nine cards. Ha! Huh? We have one more hand in this, uh... In this shuffle. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's just grab these. Hmm. I don't want Horny to heal though, so let's do... <laughs> Ooh! Now the water's not going to exhaust. I... But that's not really going to help me because uh, then I'm just not going to get dealt another water. But it's a fun thing to note anyway. If I were like in the middle of this shuffle and I had another hand or two left, um, no, that wouldn't really work either because it's going to get discarded. Anyway, uh, if it ever comes into play, exhausted, th exhausting things that are shocked, if they don't exhaust till the end of the turn, then they're not going to exhaust. What do we got? Each ally in the deck. How many scrolls do I have with this guy? Just one. Okay, the dagger and the chalice are not scrolls. So, I'm not going to take the wand. I do want more damage, and I don't really want to pick up allies, so I'm going to take the sword. And let's take another one of these. Dang, look at all this weapons. <laughs> okay. I hate to see the two 
damage from this get burned on this guy. Uh, but it is what it is, I guess. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not what it is. You know? Maybe. I just smack Horny and then I see what the future holds. Who are you gonna curse? My dagger. Okay. Forget that then. Let's just smack him. Okay. Cursing Horny. Can deal with that. And this guy's here to help again. You're gonna shock my dagger, huh? Okay. This is free, so I might as well just smack him. Okay, I have an abundance of these things, so I'm just gonna run through. Oh, hey. I don't have to use this yet. Lose some health. There we go. And discard this fella. So that's the boss down. And the quest down much earlier than I usually get it, so I like that. Now it's just all about the treasure. Okay, and we're on shuffle two of three, so I have this shuffle and next shuffle to make the most of whatever the treasure is. Um, when you don't know what the treasure is yet, always assume you might get a blood gold and be ready for that with lots of damage to take. Uh, let's just use up all my strength there. A freezy guy. Alright, let's see. If I take some damage, that will f he'll freeze. Uh, he'll freeze my uh, slit your wrist. What is this called? Bloodletting. Uh, so that's not really useful. I'd like to save him. Hmm. Thing is, I have to select something. Uh, all right, let's just scoot these three people out of the way. Oh, heck, let's scoot all four of them <laughs> and say goodbye to. Freezy. It's always sad when a freezer dies. Okay. What do we got? Blood gold. That's what I like to see. Shoot, that's gonna get dealt right away, and this is going to be my last chance to use it because we're going into Shuffle 3. But, that's not bad, because I have zero strength. I'm all set up to just take a ton of damage. I wish there was more damage available on the board right now, but that's okay. Let's see if I can get this guy to curse... Player card, yeah, there we go. That's another damage. Oh, don't shock the... Hmm. Man, what a pain. 
How can I damage him and avoid... Damage him before I get the apple. But avoid damaging this guy, because I don't want him to shock the chalice. I think this might be an occasion for shocking the chalice and waiting till next turn to decide what I'm going to do. Or the, uh, the blood gold, rather. Okay, ooh, alright, this costs a strength, that's useful. Who are you going to shock? The water. That's useful too. You're going to shock that guy, so I'm glad I already got him and took damage from the strength drain. Damage. Damage plus one more damage. I don't want to forget I'm taking. Are you going to shock the water on me? You punk. Hmm. See, now the question is, do I take the one strength drain from the water for one more gold, or do I leave it there so that I can actually drink the water next turn when it's unshocked? Uh... Boy, oh boy. Or no, dang it all. Okay, let's see. Start with this guy. It does always want to shock him. Hmm. All right, getting the apple is going to shock him no matter what. Uh, so, I think we do want to... Dang it, can I see what's in the deck? Ooh, I still have both of these coming. Okay, so it's not as big a risk. Yeah, I'm going to take the damage from strength drain on the water. One more from him is going to put me at one health. I took all the damage I could take. Oh, wait. Uh, he didn't get discarded because he's dead. I'm so dumb. And there we go. I got that. Okay, so, yeah, not optimal, but... Not doing bad. And now we just gotta get to the end, so smack uh three four five and that should be it, yeah. Okay, so coming out of that with 10. All right. Uh, my standard maneuver, unless I know I need something else, is to go for equipment, because equipment is, yes, weapon chain. See, massive mug is really nice and all, because uh gives you more health. That's three more health to work with for blood gold. But weapon chain, first of all, works with uh, the counts. Uh, 
ritual dagger in addition to the regular dagger. But also, that's a card you don't have to discard, um, which gives you more control over the board. Whenever you can decide that you don't want to discard a card. Yeah. So I got that going for me, and then always skip this, take the money. See where we are. Tied for first. Okay, not bad. Alright, so day two. If I don't select a bonfire, everybody else gets more health. And select at least five in one turn three times, which I usually end up doing anyway, but just in case. Gotta remember that. I like the stone background. I don't know if that's changed on the phone too, I forget. Uh, it's not something that stands out as much on the phone as it does here. Uh, maps. Why does this map only have one arrow? That's weird. That's roll weird. Unless Arnold changed it so, uh... They might only have one arrow, but it's always valid. That would be interesting. Um, but yeah. Alright. We got this bad boy, which doesn't get discarded anymore, which is freaking excellent. We have revenge healer, ambush healers, ambush shocker, and this guy who blocks physical damage normally, but not this turn. And then do I want to hit this guy? Because he's going to come back and ambush again. But I'm hitting him for two. And I'm getting it for free because he's cursed. And he's only going to give one, so that outweighs. God, I love weapon chain. Endure adds one. I like that. Let's keep him around for a couple of rounds. Let's smack this guy and discard this guy while he's shocked because he has a lot of health. So I might not even end up killing him at all. He might just keep getting discarded throughout the tavern. But if I can discard him without hitting him for damage, that's the best. Endure two damage. He's not helpful. Except to die. I... He got cursed too, so that was free. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, let's smack you. And while you're cursed... I'll discard you. Let's do that, yeah. See, I'm letting this guy keep bringing people in. Not so much to bulk up the deck this time, because this deck does have more cards in it than the first deck anyway, but because the guys he brings in only have two health, and they're easy to smack with the dagger, and it keeps cursing them too, so like, I'm getting them for free. Oops, did I not select the dagger? I did. I didn't select him. Gotcha. That guy's good for blood gold. I'm gonna ask you to hang around. Let's see, what should I do? Oh yeah, I have... Uh, Weapon chain, so I can just do that. We 
Again, shocker. Interesting. Now I have to select five in one turn three times throughout the tavern, so... Shock my apple, you turd. I only need this one more guy dead to summon the blob. So let's also select five cards while we're here. One, two, three, four, five. There's exactly four left in the deck right now, and the blob is coming. Oh, duh, I only discarded four. I was thinking I was going to discard five, but I forgot about Weapon Chain. But that's okay. See, having Weapon Chain makes it okay that there's an odd number of cards left in here. It's just one card. Because I can make it another... Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, this is gorgeous. Curse. Stab. Nothing discarded. Curse. Stab. And the one card. Oh, but we have the, the mini blobs. We have two cards left in the deck. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to stab him. That's two. Hold up. I need to remove exactly two cards. I'm going to kill him. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna kill him. So I have wiggle room. I can let these two cards get dealt one at a time. This guy has no... bearing on this situation, so I'm just gonna get stamina, see what this last card is. The other piece of the map. When I put together the map, I'm gonna get... Oh, I see. The more directions it comes from, the more expensive it is. That's interesting. When I put together the map, I'm just gonna get the chest added to the deck. I'm not gonna have to choose a treasure yet, so that's good. So let's kill him by grabbing the apple. And then we'll go through there. You know what? I do want to leave the the sword on the on the table, so I'm gonna go through him. So I'm gonna get that health back anyway. And I think that's the second time I've selected at least five cards. So one more should do the quest. <laughs> gold. Gotta take the gold. <laughs> what was the tavern rule in here? If I don't take a bonfire, everybody has one more health. That's fine, though. Okay, now we have the merchant. Do I want to leave this guy hanging around? I think I do for this turn. Because I want to find out if this is blood gold. And until I know that, I want to err on the side of it being blood gold. So if he can possibly summon somebody to help me make better use of blood gold, I'll take it. Always get the merchant first. What do we have? 
nothing especially special, but the dagger is pretty magnificent. Because of the mushrooms, everybody has a ton more health, especially as we get later in the week. It's going to be massive amounts of health to chew through. If I can bleed them, and I have weapon chain, so I can like bleed people like crazy, that's going to help with that. Blood gold again. Excellent. Increasing strength. That's dangerous to play with, but I like it. Now, my daggers are not going to help me make use of blood gold. Because... They, uh, I think I want to keep this one on the table, because they don't cost any strength. So I'm going to go through him and get this dagger discarded. That's the one downside of weapon chain, is you always have one dagger on the table. Ooh, spider webs are really good for blood gold. I don't want them to summon too many. One's enough. Um, gosh. I do want to get rid of this guy. Trying to think of making use of blood gold this round, but the way things are set up, I'm gonna have to end up discarding one of these. Especially if I I want to get rid of this guy and this guy this turn. Spider's more pressing. Blood gold is already on the table, but I would like to have apple available also. And I have a spider web coming, which I want to make use of when it gets here. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and discard this guy. He'll be back next round. Um, discard this guy. That health back, that's fine. Let's do that. Right, there's the spider web. I do want to keep that around. This guy's chilling in the middle. I don't want anything real important to get dealt to the middle. But I like him healing stuff. Now that I don't need to kill anybody else, because I've got the boss, I like him healing people, because then if I accidentally hurt them when I'm healing, I'm not necessarily going to kill them. And I want to avoid killing things if I don't have to, because they can be useful for blood gold. So, let's... Gosh, I have no strength. What a pain. Alright, with the spider web in play, I don't think I need this guy to help me with damage. So, this guy can go to these two guys. There's Apple. Water is delicious. Okay, let's take that. Yeah, we do have to ditch him, unfortunately. And we'll scoot this. Okay, yeah, let's...
Let's take this bonfire. So I want every opportunity to keep my health up and also have health to grab when it's time for blood gold. Of course blood gold comes up on the ter first turn. I'm not ready for you. Eh. I like this guy having two strength costs. <laughs> All right, so let's drop blood gold. Drop this guy. I don't, I want to open up spaces around the edges at the same time that I'm opening up this space in the middle. So I don't want to keep calling things into the middle and end up with something important there. That's fine. I like that. This guy's here. That's perfect. Do I want to let the spider add another web? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna do like that. Maybe I'll smack these two around anyway. This guy's in the middle. Hmm. I have that bonfire chilling in there. What else do I have Got to come? Chalice is in there too. I would really like to get the chalice on the board and keep it there. I might have to eat the apple later. But let's get... Who's the apple gonna hurt if I eat it now? That guy. Okay. Let's do that and get these guys out of the way. That's half of the remaining cards. Bleeding daggers in the middle. That's fun. Okay. Alright, let's take my health down to four, and then back to max with some strength. That's fine. That's fun, yes. I like him. That means I can select some monsters and... Not have them get discarded. <laughs> hmm. Three cards left in the deck. One of them is my ritual dagger. What else is in here? Oh, the chalice is still in there too. Okay. I would like to make sure chalice doesn't get dealt in the middle because I want to be able to dance around the healing items and if the chalice is in the middle then I have to go through one of these at some point and uh, I want to keep this and this on the table and when chalice gets here I want chalice to stay on the table so let's do that You know what? No, let's do that. 
Get two of those remaining uh, cards dealt. Freezy guy had to go, but that's okay. There we go. Chalice is on the edge now. Good, I'm glad I did that. Let's grab the water. And... Ditch both of these daggers. Yeah. And cross our fingers that the blood gold doesn't come up first round. Because I want to get my strength to zero. Of course it does. Of course it does. It's okay, I gotta make use of it. So... Hit me. Hit me. Uh, you buttholes. It's okay, I can save that guy for last. in there somewhere. Only at five health, that's not it's not deadly. I can work with that. Alright, good apples up. And here's my trusty Dagger? Now I don't want him freezing people now because I just want to get to the end. Let's do this. Let's grab that. Nice. Killed the spider web for me. We can get this dagger out of here while we're at it. Two cards left is the barkeep and the stairs, so that's perfect. There's one. Two. He's gonna add one. So we can do that, or we can kill this guy and make room for the one more that the summoner is going to add. And then we bounce. Again, going for equipment. Frostwolf Pelt is what I want. It's exactly what I want. And it's dangerous because if the bard shows up, it will cause trouble. Fortunately, I have Forbidden Fruit, which can help me with the bard. I'm just going to have to remember that that's the issue. But the control 
this gives me having both of these items together is so disgusting that it's worth the risk with the bard as long as I have an escape plan for the bard even if it's not the most reliable escape plan So that's pretty unbelievable to get both of those items in the first two taverns. Now I might not even choose to go for equipment anymore because those are the two equipments I really am looking for when I choose equipment. Wednesday, the gnarled root. Let me just remind myself what's coming up. I know we have the Countess. Monsters get healed at the end of the turn, and select one bonfire, okay. The pasture. Select two bonfires. I don't have anything that does freeze damage, um, but enemies that do freeze damage will cost one more, but they're pretty... Few and far between, really. Random monster gets frozen at the start of the turn. That's awesome. Um, Goblin Queen. I never really think of her as much of a threat. She's very useful for blood gold. Defeat ten or more throughout the tavern. Do I have to kill ten already for her? No, only seven. So, I'm going to have to remember that I need to kill three more. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. These freezers. These two freezers, and I have Frost Wolf Pelt. This is disgusting. This is like truly disgusting. Okay. What am I going to do here? Let's smack this guy for two. Grab the dagger. Get working on this guy. Normally, this guy would be helpful for blood gold. But now it's a choice between keeping this guy useful for blood gold or keeping these freezers. And frankly, the freezers have more potential than the one extra damage this guy offers, so I'm just gonna kill him. Uh, curses too, okay. Eh, not really helping me. Let's grab the dagger and finish this guy. It's this butthole. Ooh. Let's see, can I take a bunch of damage? Well, let's see who the chalice will hurt first. It's gonna hurt my buddy, so I don't wanna mess with the chalice. Okay, but we know the imp is the thing we gotta work with. The treasure imp, I think. Is he, a, is he an imp? I want to know what he is now. I think he's a treasure imp. Yeah. So let's plow through that guy and then hit the imp. Yeah, the thing about the freezers, though, with... Uh, Count Von Count here is that healing always runs the risk of damaging the freezers like that, which I don't want to do. So if I can get a healer on the board to keep them healed up, that would be really nice. Let's grab this. No more, uh, no more abusing this with Frostwolf Pelt though, because it's exhaust. 
Unless I get it shocked. Let's do that. Don't like this guy. Stop hitting my freezer, friend. Who are you gonna hurt? Oh, nobody. Because I didn't take any damage this turn. Let's see who you would hurt. My freezer friend again. Damn it! Get out of here. my ritual dagger. Smack this guy. Oh wait, will this hurt that guy? No, it's still hurting my buddy. I really need to get a healer up in here. And yes, the freezers make this an extremely slow process, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. Um, dang it. I do want health back. And I want to move along some daggers. I don't really want this guy sitting in the middle though anyway, so. And that's the other thing. If I ever want to discard something that's frozen, I need to unfreeze a whole bunch of stuff to make sure, well, to lessen the chance that the freezers just freeze the thing I want to discard again. So let's do that. Gold. There's this guy again. All right, come on, health items, please. Hit the imp. No, they're dead set on hitting that skelly. Oh well, okay. I'm gonna have to say farewell to the freezers, I think. And I want max damage on this guy, so we're gonna go apple first. And plow through him. Will this damage the imp? No, it's still gonna hit that guy. So let's go here. Hold on. I haven't talked to the merchant yet. So... What we're gonna do... Is scoot up around here. Hit this guy for four. And then... Wait till next shuffle to kill him. Look at this guy. Cursed. Ah, uh, my poor friend. You're a butthole. It's only ambush though, so... Yeah, I do want... Healing. So let's do that. Bye, friend. Look at this guy. Who do these people think they are? I can curse him, so that's nice. And... Don't hit him. Go to 
this way. Here comes the Lady of the Manor. Or she's in the middle. I was just going to say, please don't go in the middle. <laughs> Who's the chalice going to hit my skeleton friend again? Same with the apple. All right. Oh, but she's going to heal the crap out of the skelly. I should have remembered that with the other skeleton. If I got her on the board, she could have kept them both alive. Oh well, okay, um... Let's just... Do I want to scoot both swords out of here? I think I might. Five, okay, let's take that damage first. No... Never mind, I need to freeze the apple. the merchant. At some point you're going to catch me referring to the merchant as Mershand uh, because in Hellraiser 4 you learn that uh, Jean Le Mershand or something like that was the original creator of the puzzle box. <laughs> so, And then his descendant, his descendants changed their last name to Merchant. So that's what I think of and Henceforth, this guy became known as Mershand in my mind. Uh, but let's see what he has to offer. I don't really need any of this stuff. Between, between these two pieces of equipment and the weapons I already have, I'm just going to take the penny. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Let's just take a trip around, because we can. Kill that guy. There's some water. Do I want the water? Then I have to spend down that strength before uh, before the blood gold shows up again. Is this is one of three, or yeah, not blood gold, the imp. Oh, that's okay, because I don't even know if I'm getting blood gold. We still haven't killed the imp. So yeah, I can take this. That's fine. And we'll grab that. Bleedy dagger. That's quite useful. Okay, so let's do this. And this. Try to unfreeze some things. See if I can discard some of them. Yeah, I can I can discard the wristy guy now. Let's do that. A crab. Crab is fine. Crab can die. There we go, now we opened up two spots. And another penny.
don't mind this being back because it, it can help with blood gold if I get blood gold. Let's do that. Do I want to do that? Yeah. There's the imp. Back up to max health. Let's see what the imp has. More blood gold. Can't be sad about that. Thanks to our epic board control, we have both our healing items on the board still. Hmm. I'm gonna lose a health when I grab this. And I can't get it back in the event that the blood gold shows up right away. So let's just cross our fingers and hope that it doesn't. Ooh, look at this guy. All right, let's see if we need any more help for the blood gold. Because if I'm at max health, I can Aim for a max damage of six, and then six more, and then three more, so 15. So what's available right now? Three, five, six, uh, 10, 11, and then 12 from this guy. I could definitely do with more damage than is currently available on the board. So I'm going to let him stick around. For a little bit. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to bleed him. I'm going to discard this dagger while I have the opportunity. Let's see what this guy adds for me. Uh, freezer. Nice. Yes, this guy. This guy is exactly what I want. Um... Gonna do that. That revenge guy. If I leave him on the board for a little while, get the queen to heal him up so he can build up revenge. And then he alone can do a ton of damage for me. Uh and I want you to die now. It's time for you to go. Is this just me being impatient? When I could do more damage another way? I don't know. Is this, this is frozen. I want this guy to freeze this thing for me so I can charge around and hit this guy with multiple weapons like that. Oh, 
Well, he's not frozen this time, so I can just... Disc oh, dang it. Stupid tavern rule. Okay. Man, I'm constantly playing like chicken with this, uh, hoping this guy doesn't, or hoping she doesn't heal him again. <laughs> Man, all right, let's hit him like that and then just see what happens. Of course she healed him again. It's gonna be a long tavern. Okay, but now I can get this. Oh. What a pain, what a pain, what a pain, what a pain. Can't cut up through her. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna help. Hmm. If I get some of these monsters unfrozen... That's going to involve taking a whole bunch of damage. That's going to be three, five. I'll be dead already. Let's, let's do that. Let's just cross our fingers that she doesn't heal him again. Of course she did. I gotta stop saying it. Alright, I've gotta hit him for more. Gonna have to eat this. Why am I running through her? I'm not even sure. I don't need to do that. Oh, to unfreeze her, that's why. Unfreeze her. There's the blood gold. I don't want that yet. Oh, don't hurt her. I don't want her to die yet. This guy's finally going to die. Hmm. 
Well, it looks like she's going. My apple is all interested in hurting her now. Endure due to damage, huh? I'm not liking that. Yeah, she's about to go. That's okay. We have that other, the revenge version of this guy coming. He's going to do big, big damage. Okay, let's bleed some people. Guys, helpful. Okay. Man, this guy's helpful unreliable. I think I'm going to pass him through. He's also sitting in the middle, which is a very annoying spot for him to be. You get to bleed. Definitely get to bleed. There he is. But now I don't have the epic healing for him, so I gotta be real careful about damaging him. This guy's just an ambush freezer anyway, so I can take a hike. Gotta bleed. And who are you gonna hit my apple? I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Another one of you. you're gonna hit today? That guy. That's okay. Okay. Mm. 
See if I replenish my strength. I just have a feeling... Uh... Blood Gold's gonna show up, like, right away, and it's gonna be really hard to even take the, f the five damage I could afford. Mm, let's take this. Okay, no Blood Gold yet. I want to give this guy a chance to heal Mr. Revenge Party, but is it that urgent now that I have this guy and this guy? There's, there's a lot of damage on the board now to take, so I think I'm going to prioritize just getting this sword out of here. I'm going to smack him. First, I'm going to just get the sword out. Because I'm sitting at 6 health if Blood Gold shows up right now. There it is. There it is. I'm glad I stayed at 6 health. Okay. So. How do we want to do this? No hit. Yeah. That's trouble. Here. That leaves me with one more health. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'll take what I can get there. Am I missing anything that's gonna kill me? I don't think so. As long as nobody comes in and adds strength cost to the apple or something. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, you gotta go. Man, that's tight. Can't believe he didn't show up until the third shuffle. That was lucky. Alright. Touch this. Mm -hmm. This guy's cursed, huh? Let's do that. Am I risking anything doing that? Two health. <clears throat> I feel like... I feel like something stupid is gonna happen. Like, something's gonna pump the apple's cost up by two. It's always the thing comes out of left field that gets you. So let's just play it safe and do that. Let this guy bleed out. Look at this guy. Okay, let's grab these. That guy's down. This guy's down. We can scoot this out of here. I feel okay about being at three health.
Nine more cards to get out of here. Might as well just bleed this guy. Eight more cards to go. Let's grab the apple. It's gonna get him out. He's gonna bleed out. Strength cost of these. Kill him. What's that going to leave on the board, too? No, the, and the bleedy dagger. So three. So that's going to deal six more cards and leave the barkeep and the stairs. are going to bleed out, and the water is going, so plenty of room for both the barkeep and the stairs, and that's another tavern down. Do I want equipment this time? What else? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Let me upgrade bloodletting and get blood sacrifices. That's more insurance against the bard. Thursday night at the Frozen Inn. Um, select two bonfires throughout the tavern, and the pastor is a person. When you could abuse water with Frostwolf Pelt, that made the pastor a chump if you had Frostwolf Pelt, because then you get your health down under the limit, and then keep abusing the water to keep your strength up until you kill him. Uh, but now we have this enduring guy. That's a sacrifice situation, which is fine because I have a, <laughs> a bunch of daggers. Um... Let's definitely get him out of here. Let's see where that gets us. This sword, huh? Hmm. See, these guys have so much health, I would really like to just see the bloodletting dagger, the bleedy dagger, come through. And I can hit these guys with that. So let's just discard these swords. The water already, I don't need that. Uh, I don't want you revenging. That's stupid. Uh, Alright, let's just 
get you out. Oh, you're helpful if I get blood gold again. I don't want you around right now, so let's just poke you in the face and see what we get next. The hermit crab. Go away, hermit crab. There's the dagger I want. Ow. <laughs> uh, stab. Stab. Water. Stab. This is a beautiful setup because I can just burn turns doing that and getting my health back if I need to. It costs four strength. That's a lot. Uh, so what we're going to do is just kill you, I think. I don't want to lose the bleedy dagger yet. Let's do this. Let's do this and leave him with one health. When he comes back next time, he'll bleed out. Yeah, let's just do that. Money. Gotta be cursing my apple. I can wait you out. Yeah, what's up now? That's right, that's what you get. you here yet. You gotta bounce again. I don't like this guy. I want him to die. He's gotta be patient. Oh, there's that guy. Didn't even get a chance to bleed out. Okay, these two are going to bleed out, let's just do that. You know what, should I make a blood sacrifice? Let's do that, maybe I can use that to kill that guy. Uh, let's bleed this guy. Revenge. Of course. Of course. That's okay. 
This guy can take five more turns to bleed out, I don't care. <laughs> I do want this guy to stop being a troublemaker though, so... I'm just gonna do like that. Endure. Endure? I don't think so, buddy. This is fun? I want health, though. Maybe I can kill this guy by way of healing. Yeah. Let's hurt myself a little bit. Now what, I don't want another blood sacrifice yet, though. So, let's hurt myself by... Just touching him. And then do like that. And then finish him off like that. Okay, there's that. I like that it's in the corner. Now, I definitely want to keep the dagger that's next to the apple. Uh, I am going to have to drink the water anyway soon, so let's let's just do that and see what these last four cards are. Sword, that can go. Merchand, okay. Uh, so, what do you got? Let me heal up. Yeah, um... Nothing I especially need, I'm just gonna take the penny. One of these things, huh? You can smell my butt. And swords. And yes, I know this is taking forever. But being extremely methodical like this is uh, just how I roll. This will be good for helping with blood gold. What was the tavern quest? It's like two bonfires, okay. So I gotta grab one more in the last one. <laughs> Alright, so this guy is having a good time bleeding out, but he's not going to take that damage, unless I add another weapon to the mix. But I'm not sure I want to discard any of my daggers yet, so I will just let him bleed. Water. Okay, I guess it's time to discard some daggers then. Let's move this one along, I guess. Look at you. 
awake healing one. You can go all the way to hell. Oh yeah, the chest is right here. I just gotta sacrifice something, don't I? What do I have that I'm gonna sacrifice? Enduring Freezer. I like this guy. He's back again. But what am I going to discard? Or, uh, sacrifice? See, I think... I don't necessarily want this freezer around because he's going to make it hard for me to discard things and make room. Wow. <laughs> okay. I need to kill four more people to uh, get the pastor out here. Let's burn this. And I can just make another one. can't exactly do that this turn. This guy's just gonna hit me for one each turn, but he's bleeding out. So, let's just stay healed and let him bleed. Revenge Freezer. Who are you going to freeze? My apple. I like that. <laughs> hmm. And I can get you to go again with that. Okay. All right, <laughs> then how do I want to work this? Let's see. I do want another one of these, so let's grab that. Oh, it changes the variables because I froze something different, maybe? I don't know. And that hits him and freezes two different things. Now my apple's not getting frozen. Okay. Okay. We can do it that way. And that way. I like that the chalice is frozen now. And I can leave it that way. 
make use of it if I get blood gold. Oh, this sword, duh, I can sacrifice this sword. Let's do that, like, right away. What do we got today? No blood gold today, okay. Uh, well, we gotta take the most gold we can get, so we'll go with that one. Takes the pressure off when you don't get blood gold. Because then nobody else got blood gold either, so you're not competing for the best blood gold anymore. So let's... I need to kill one more thing. One more thing. And I'm taking... I take damage and kill people by way of healing. So let's do that. And also get another one of these. Because the bard might be about to show up. We are in the fourth tavern. Things are getting spicy. Okay. Mm. Yeah, well, let's... I'm not sure I want another blood sacrifice just yet, but... Let's do this, and take a bunch of damage, and then do that. And then let's finish him off with a stab. <laughs> Alright, Padre. Let's get down to proper amount of health, huh? Uh... Get you bleeding. And... Yeah, there's so much healing stuff on the table. Let's do that. Did Padre bleed? <laughs> I mean, he shouldn't have. Because uh, I'm above the health limit. But it looked like he might have. I'm not sure if I, if my eye caught that correctly or not. Uh, but anyway, let's... Let's see if he does bleed, because he shouldn't. I'm curious now. Wait a minute. Okay, no damage there. He did bleed. He shouldn't be bleeding, I don't think. But since he is... Hey, hey, hey. Let's stab this guy. I gotta remember to take a bonfire for the quest. Let's just get under the limit already here. Whatever, I can just kill him with this. <laughs> Bye. Ooh. 
Sometimes I do get overly obsessed with the control I have over the board. And I try to do everything the clever way and I just, I, I miss the direct way, even when it's the more efficient way. There's my treasure. Oh boy. Enduring butthole. I don't like you. So what we're gonna do is stab you in the face. Well, that's... That's a bunch of damage for you. So... Why don't we go... Like that. And then like... That? No, because then I don't have enough health to survive picking up the health bonfire. Uh... No, I need to make sure I have enough health in case Imp shows up. Just make sure this is frozen. No. Let's just go that. Even though I'm not making full use of the bonfire, that's fine. Or am I? Oh, I am. Ah! I am! Look at me. Get out of here. Of course. Of course, you punk. Whatever, I'll just wait you out. Hmm. I would like to get rid of these expensive buddies. So let's... It's gonna hit me hard, man. Yeah, let's hold off. Because he's gonna hit me real hard. Leave me at two health. damage when I discard him. Enduring Freezer. There we go. If you freeze this fella for me, I can bleed him out. So let's get on that, friendo. Let me make another one of these. Just in case some foul play comes about. Of course, I can also use it to kill this guy. Again, I'm not... I, I don't play... Uh, Blood Cultist all that much. So, like, I forget just how useful this can be. Um... Oh, well, you, you... This butthole. You need to just go, friend. Uh, we're gonna just... Yeah. Ow. Okay. Health. And then bleed. It's just ambush, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. Let me 
to take some damage. Alright, let's make another one of these. Enduring Freezer. I do... You guys are my best friends, but I don't have any need for you to be here right now. So, away you go. Excellent. Four cards left. Let's get some things discarded here. One, two, three, four. Discards. We're out. You don't kill the barkeep anymore, do you? No. <laughs> okay, what do I want? a lot of good equipment that I can't fit in my pack because I only have the narrow top. I don't really want to upgrade any of my cards. I think I'm going to go for a charm. Storm, no. Earth duplication, not really. I'm not really planning on getting anything from the deck merchant. Uh, unless he has a preparation. Hmm. Okay, this isn't useful at all. This could end up saving my butt. I th I think I should probably emphasize survival at this point. Make sure I get through the last tavern. Okay. <laughs> Just really strong equipment. And monster heals at the end of each turn, and I gotta take at least one bonfire. Now, how do I want to prep for her? I mean, since I upgraded bloodletting, I might as well just have uh, the you know the insta death blood sacrifices prepared. I want a couple of them because the bard is going to end up being in here. So is the fly. I don't want the fly ditching the blood sacrifice that could save my life against the bard. So we're going to make several blood sacrifices. This guy can't be sticking around. This guy must stick around for damage. That's great for blood gold. Don't you're a you're a pain. Okay. Let's hit him. Go right through 
through this guy. Yeah, thanks, butthole. Who are you gonna revenge? My chalice? I don't think so, buddy. That's not cool. Alright. Mm. Let's get you out of here. Ambush heals three. I really want my ritual dagger to show up. Let's discard the sword. Or not my ritual dagger, my bleedy dagger. There we go. This guy's gonna come back and ambush for one. But then I can leave him sticking around to bleed out. I really don't want him adding that to any of my cards, though. So let's, for now, just hit these two. Sure. Okay. Let's grab this. Let's do this. don't like to discard the dagger that doesn't require any strength. That's the thing. I wouldn't mind discarding this guy. But... It's gonna cost me a bunch of health, and I don't have my apple to get it back next turn. Ah, uh, okay. Boy. Alright, I really just want to buy time for the freezer to freeze this guy. So let's do that. There we go. Lord, okay. Uh, I do this. It's not really doing it. I would like to bleed this guy. There's just. I don't see a good way to get to that accomplishment. Just yet. Let's let this guy get frozen again. How about that? Do this. Okay, we'll 
do this. There, now he's frozen again. Uh, what does that gain me? I can stab him with this, that's fine. damage here and do that. Put my apple there, come on. Wow, that is a lot of freezing. But I'm just gonna hang on to this freezer and bleed this one. Need more health though. So don't do that. Don't hurt that freezer. Dang it. Hmm. Alright, how am I going to get more health? Very slowly stab this guy to death. Like that. I feel like this guy's gonna die first, but really... Anything's gotta give a little bit here. If this would curse this guy, I could do that. Hit him for a lot more at once. Oh yeah, that's right. Monsters heal at the end of every turn, so that's why these guys aren't quite dying as fast as my instinct says they should. I think we gotta say farewell to this freezer. For now. Or do I want to have him stick around to make use of this little scenario a couple more times? Let's do that. Apple is indeed the last thing in here. Good gracious. Yeah. I don't especially want my apple to be up here. Such an awkward place for it.
feel like that's just what's gonna happen, though. It's okay, I can slowly claw my way back up to some health. This guy will actually help with that if he keeps freezing this thing. Well, he's going to get himself killed in the process, so that's fine. All right. Freezes all around. You need to select what one bonfire? Yeah. So let's grab the gold this time. Shoot, I need to walk through this guy to open the chest. Unfreeze this guy. And kill him in the process. Okay, that's fine. Let's do that. Freeze you guys back again. Not sure I want you to be back again yet. And I should have left that shocker around. Let him shock this guy and discarded him while he was shocked. Another shocker shows up. In the near future, I gotta keep that in mind. But yeah, let's discard this guy. Revenge to... Oh boy. Oh, he's gonna bleed out anyway, so that's fine. Let's Should we get the blood dagger discarded? Because it's that's a lot of strength to be paying along the route for opening the chest. So I think maybe we do that. That guy. I see. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's discard you. I think. But I can't. 
can't really do that on the cheap, can I? I guess you're still gonna do that if I do that. Oh, but now you didn't freeze this guy. There, oh, uh, yeah, he did it again anyway. Okay. Okay. Let's just do that. There's Mershand. Uh, so let's just... Get this guy unfrozen. You know what? Let's get him unfrozen without discarding anything. So I know I have a nice safe board to then actually discard him. Will I get Marchand? Yeah, uh, I'm just going to take the penny. Yeah, I'm thinking I might just want to blood sacrifice this guy. He's too big to kill outright, and he... Does too much damage to be comfortable. Ooh. I let him get shocked. Okay, let's let him get shocked. Shock him, shocker. That's not him. Gotta shock the stabby guy. Shock him, please. Come on, play ball with me. There we go. There we go, okay. Happy days. I do want to let this guy bleed out. And I do want another blood sacrifice. I don't necessarily want this guy to keep shocking everybody. So let's discard you. Water. Water is gooder. I want to let this guy bleed out. So let's. Oh, this guy's healing. You turd. Let's stab you. This is the last card. be the last card if I go make it another one of these.
do this. I gotta open this chest, and this is not a bad setup. Make another one of these. Get a little healing. Kill that guy. And there's the chest. What do we got? Blood gold again. Okay. There isn't even a bonfire to take here. Okay, so give me the gold. Oh, I got this on the table, but I don't have any healing. especially like you being awake uh. yeah I don't want that I would like to get the apple next to this dagger. That would be ideal. There's the bard. Not the right person. survive this. I need to have enough health. To at least be able to select the bard. And I need healing to get dealt. Can't select anything else. This is the way it's gotta be. This might be the end of the road. Rolling the dice. Oh my god. Oh my god. You see that? That's a miracle. Um. This thing is not going to kill the bard. Ugh. Man. If I only stab him for this one damage, he's going to be back. But I am freaking lucky to be alive still. And I might not be alive for another round, because uh, I only have one health. Uh, 
this is once again probably dead. Oh my god. Not dead. Still, somehow, not dead. Now I'm dead. Right? Yeah, there's no way out of this. Can't select anything but this and this, and that curtains. I didn't even get to go up against the new Countess. Dang it all. All right. Let's go out in a blaze of glory. Oh yeah, can I even select a second thing? Yeah, there we go. Well, that was a pretty solid run most of the way. I gotta say, pretty easy taverns, though. Very, uh, very soft tavern rules and quest requirements. Um, but, uh, yeah, didn't make it. I think there are some. There are some gut assumptions that I kind of roll with as far as like how difficult I expect things to be, how much health and strength I expect I'm going to need to like conserve or um, prepare for, and some characters I have a better feel for than others. Um, like the Frost Warden's my best. Somehow, I had the high score, my highest score was with uh, Scoundrel, but I finally beat that by, I think, one point with Frost Warden. But yeah, I like the Blood Cultist, but I, I don't think my instinct is quite there with him. He, he demands more pain and strength costs than I, like, feel instinctually, so... There you go. See who's, uh... Who's rocking it this Friday. KBP. Good on ya. T2BC. Elvin. Where'd VZ, VZ, VZ go? Only nine people through. Wow. Alright. 29%. Gosh. All right, we out.